everyone, it's Kayla and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be eating only Dollar Tree foods for the entire day. I do not know how I'm going to survive this challenge because I am the pickiest eater ever. And I mean, I know Dollar Tree has good candy, but I've never tried eating like a meal from the Dollar Tree. I am parked in front of the store right now and I'm kind of nervous, guys. Like, I think this is going to be fun, but I'm also kind of scared. This is going to be really interesting. Um, somebody parked right next to me and oh my god. What do you know? It's a cute boy. And here I am uh, talking to my camera. Oh my gosh. I wish. Never mind. He has green hair. Okay, he's not as cute as I thought he was. He actually has green hair though. Like he low key is reminding me of Frankenstein. Okay, now I do not feel like I will be judged. We we can judge each other equally now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are going to go into the Dollar Tree right now. We're going to pick out everything that I'm going to be eating today. And so for every meal, I will be pulling out my camera and showing you what I'm about to eat. And then I will be like rating everything one through 10. I'll tell you if it was good, if it was bad, or if it was somewhere in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let's Let's just go inside right now crossing my fingers i can find something here we go yay <laughs> So guys, they had a bunch of different little cereal boxes and they're actually like a decent size. These are called fruit rings. I think they're supposed to be kind of like a knockoff version of Fruit Loops. So I'm gonna maybe try those for breakfast. Oh my gosh, they have freezer stuff here. Let's go check it out. And I see orange juice with Donald Duck's face on it. I think yes, like absolutely. And they do have milk up there if I wanted milk for my cereal, but I only drink Almond Breeze and I don't think they're gonna have that at the Dollar Tree. Guys, I just spotted Lunchables. I have not had a Lunchable since I was like 10 years old. Girl, let's see what kinds they have. Oh my gosh, this one's turkey, cheese, crackers, and a Butterfinger. And then there's one with ham. Ew. I feel like buying this is a very brave, very bold move but I think I'm gonna do it. Flashback to my childhood, I'm probably gonna get sick. <laughs> Guys, I think I know what I wanna have for lunch. <laughs> Some smoked sausage, just kidding, no. I'm not actually doing that. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is this? I think I may have changed my mind as far as what I want for breakfast. I found this Cinnabon gooey bites, soft baked cinnamon roll bites covered with cinnamon glaze and cream cheese frosting. Girl, oh my gosh. I want this. What do you just put it in the microwave? I don't know what I want now. I'm just gonna fill my card up with a bunch of stuff and then we will play the elimination game later. Okay guys, so I feel like I definitely need to have a backup plan for lunch in case the Lunchable does not agree with me and my taste buds. So I'm gonna show you what I found. I found a bunch of frozen pizzas and they look really good. And if that doesn't work out, then look. Ramen noodles. So they have these little mini pizzas right here, pepperoni, and they also have these pizza snack rolls. I think we're gonna go with these. I just got some fruit punch, Donald Duck fruit punch, to go with lunch. Now I have to figure out dinner. Let's look around together. Oh, but while I'm at it, I'm in the snack aisle. I think I'm gonna get some snacks. The Dollar Tree actually is very reputable for their snacks. What shall I choose? Jello, applesauce, corn <laughs> wait this isn't corn this is pineapple oh that's awkward never mind i don't know why but these look really intriguing to me they're crayola fruit snacks and i've never tried them before but today today i am they were just kind of hiding back there they look good oh <gasps> cheese it's oh my gosh cheese it's cheese it's yes original cheese it's i think i'm gonna get these for a snack <gasps> Oh, they have little things of mac and cheese. What I'm gonna do is I am going to get a box of good old Kraft macaroni and cheese to go with my little mini pizzas for dinner. And I think we're good. Oh my gosh, wait. Do you see what I see? Ew. Fish in a can. That is disgusting. So I was just about to check out, but then I realized 
I did not get anything for dessert, and that just can't be a thing, okay? I have to have dessert. And the dollar store definitely has some good sweets. So, I saw some ice cream over there earlier, and I think we should go investigate because ice cream is my life. I think we should go look at the ice cream options. And they had like cheesecake and pie, I think. So let's, let's go. OMG, Sour Patch Kids watermelon popsicles. I want them so bad. Ice cream bars up here. This looks like it would be heavenly. And they have ice cream too. I wonder how good their ice cream would be. Cookies and cream. They have cookies and cream pies. Key lime pie. What do I get? And there's ice cream sandwiches back there too. But I think I want to try these. Let's give these a whirl because I love the watermelon sour patch. Cake, so we're going to try them. So guys, I think I have everything I need to survive the day eating only Dollar Tree foods. I am going to go check out. I think I have more than enough stuff actually. So let's go check out and begin this wonderful adventurous challenge. Okay guys, so I am back in my car. I ended up spending $12 inside of the Dollar Tree. So about 12 items, but anyways, so I'm going to eat my breakfast in my car right now because I am starving. I did not eat anything today. I have a little bit of energy, but not nearly enough. I'm not gonna eat the cinnamon bun thing because you need to put that in the microwave. So I'll wait until I get home to do that. I'm gonna make a homemade tripod right here for you. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Um, so here are my fruit rings. And I'm also going to be drinking my orange juice with this because maybe it'll give me like some energy, you know what I'm saying? So here we go. We got my Donald Duck orange juice. So let's try this first. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing because Donald Duck is on it. Like Disney, duh. Mmm, okay, that's good. I have no complaints about the orange juice. The orange juice gets a 10 out of 10. It tastes like regular orange juice. But now we are going to break into the cereal box, okay? I love cereal. Like, comment below if you are a cereal lover like me because I, I really can say that I truly am a cereal obsessed maniac. Um, this is not opening. Okay, whoa, there we go. Man, biggest pet peeve ever. Just ripped like that. Ooh, okay, so they smell kind of fruity. I'm gonna try them. Okay, here, they look like this, if you care. Hmm, the breakfast of champs, guys. Give me a minute to evaluate the flavor. I will put some uh, royalty-free music in the background so you guys don't have to suffer through the sounds of me chomping on my food because I can't stand listening to people chew, so. I'm sure there are some of you out there as well that feel the same way. So these fruit rings really are not that bad. Um, um okay, <laughs> boys crack. This actually reminds me of Trick's cereal, like a lot. That's exactly what it tastes like to me. I don't think this is bad. I really don't think it's bad at all. It tastes very fresh, it's not stale. So that's another win. So far, so good. I'm gonna have some more of my orange juice because it's actually really good. Anyways guys, so now I'm going to head home. When I get back to my house, we are going to be trying these Cinnabon gooey bites and we're gonna see if they are any good. So there's been this car parked next to me this entire time I've been filming in here. And there's been a lady in the passenger seat the whole time and she has been staring at me. I am immensely uncomfortable right now and I think I'm gonna flee this joint. Um, okay, she's still staring at me. <laughs> Don't mind my Disney music. <laughs> Adulting what? Adulting who? Adulting boo! What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate myself. Hi guys. So I just got back home. I don't know why I decided to pull out the camera to just tell you that I'm sitting in my garage back at home at last. I, I really don't know. Um, but anyway. I'm home, so this was a very pointless video clip, and now I'm going to walk into my home. Perhaps I should vlog me walking up the steps too. Who knows? Hey guys, I'm back at home. So that means I'm going to be trying these Cinnabon gooey bites, okay? Um, I had to wait until I got home to eat these because, well, I didn't want to make any more problems with my car, number one. And number two, there are heating instructions, okay? So I needed a microwave. Remove bowl from clear plastic overwrap. Okay, so let's puncture this first. We're gonna puncture it with our nail. We're just gonna take it out. Oh, wait, all the cinnamon came off. 
Mmm, that's good. We're gonna put it on the plate. Put it on the, put it on the, put it on the plate. I'm glad I read the um, instructions because I honestly probably just would have put the whole bowl in the microwave. And now we will wait. We will wait for it to be done. It's a dingle hopper. Ooh, it's done. It literally smells like Annie Ann's. This is what it looks like. I got my dingle hopper right here. I'm ready to dig into this. <laughs> Comment below if you understood why I called this a dingle hopper. If you don't understand, then we can't be friends. I'm just gonna hold it. Ready? Here we go. Mmm, girl. I wanna do a happy dance. That was honestly so good. Nine out of 10. I wanna eat all of this. So far, this challenge is off to a really great start. So um, yeah, I will talk to you guys whenever it is lunchtime. Oh, the Lunchable. <gasps> I forgot for a second. I wish I wouldn't have remembered. That'll be, that'll be scary. But yeah, I'll let you guys know when it's lunchtime. All right guys, so I am back. It is now lunchtime. It is 12.04 and I am hungry. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm hungry enough to try that Lunchable though. Like, I don't know guys. It's again, it's been a while since I had a normal Lunchable. That Lunchable that's in there isn't even a real one. It's like an off-brand Lunchable. I'll let you guys know what the brand name is officially um, when I go over and get it. I'm, I'm very hesitant. Baby steps. Baby steps. I mean, if this is absolutely awful, I do have a backup plan. Um, I have ramen noodles and I have macaroni and cheese. I was gonna save this for dinner, but if worse comes to worse, let's, let's be brave here. Here it is. So let's go over here where there's some good lighting. <laughs> it says it has a good source of protein and calcium with cured white turkey. What is cured white turkey? I don't know. It's probably something I should know, but I really don't know. Light pasteurized processed American cheese, butter crisp crackers, and Nestle Butterfinger bar. Well, they really tried to hype this up, that's for sure. Why does the turkey smell like an egg? Why am I, why am I eating this is the better question. Why? <laughs> Can I just eat the Butterfinger? Like, please. I have to play by the rules though, guys. So I'm going to try a slice of cheese with a piece of this meat. Ah, it's so jiggly, oh my gosh. And a cracker. And not just any cracker, no, no, no a butter crisp cracker. We have to be fancy here. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm about to eat something poisonous or something, but without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. Here we go. Ah! Wait, why am I not gagging and why am I taking another bite? Wow. Okay, either I'm starving or that wasn't even bad. The main thing I could taste was the cheese. So maybe I should try the meat all on its own. Oh, this, this is scary. Okay, why am I looking at it closely? I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm not even gonna be over dramatic here, guys, because that actually was not bad. I mean, it really wasn't. I'm gonna open my fruit punch now. It tasted like the normal Lunchables and the cheese actually tasted better from the Dollar Tree brand. I'm not kidding. This fruit punch is good too. Trust me, if it was even a little bit disgusting, I would have overreacted for sure. You guys know that. But it wasn't bad, so I'm not gonna do that. I know you guys are probably watching this right now and thinking, girl, are you okay? The answer to that question is, um, quite frankly, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and question it, okay? Nothing more to say here, guys, but yeah, I would rate that Lunchable a solid eight out of 10 because it's very comparable to the main brand ones. But anyways, I'm gonna end this clip here and I will update you guys whenever I eat my next meal, which will be dinner. Hey guys, so. I was expecting that door to slam. Anyways, so guys, we are gonna be trying these Crayola fruit snacks. There are a lot of different flavors apparently. There's orange, grape, cherry, apple, blackberry, and strawberry. So let's open the box and try them out. I really, really hope that these are good. Oh my gosh, I have never seen fruit snacks with a clear pouch. Totally was not expecting that. You don't judge a book by its cover, guys, okay? 
I'm gonna try one of every flavor. So first we're gonna try the blue raspberry. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'll be honest. These have the consistency of gummy bears, which I wasn't expecting. I like my fruit snacks to be really soft and chewy. Um, I mean, actually, don't get me wrong. These are chewy, but a little bit too chewy. So the flavor was good though. I'd give that one an eight out of 10. Now we're gonna try the cherry. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, same deal. I'm not gonna review each individual flavor because you guys honestly probably don't care at all. I would give these fruit snacks like a four out of 10. I don't know if they're expired or, let me see if there's an expiration date. That could be the reason why they're so weird tasting. No, they don't expire until December 29th, 2020. I don't know, they just weren't the best. Okay guys, so now it is dinner time. It is around 6.30 and I'm really, really hungry. So these pizzas better pull through for me, girl. I mean, I do have mac and cheese that I'm gonna be making with this, but it's not like I've never had mac and cheese before, so I'm not gonna like make you guys watch me eat that. You are gonna be uh, making these with me right now. So these are by the brand Red Baron, and they are deep dish mini pepperoni pizzas. Let's get a little plates, or no, you know, let's get a big daddy plate, a big fancy plate. Oh, let's open these up and shazam a beautiful masterpiece but actually not quite yet we have to pop these babies in the microwave 2 30 start all right so um <laughs> dinner served ow okay we're good we're all good okay so i'm quite nervous to try these but we will see I have no idea how they're gonna be. It's gonna be so weird. Ooh, they don't feel like pancakey anymore. It actually feels like pizza crust. All right, let's give it a whirl. Why do I not hate these? Okay, I just have to say that I am pleasantly surprised. I honestly thought that those were gonna be the biggest fail ever, but I am actually gonna eat all of these they are so, so good. I would probably rate them a an 8.5 out of 10. That's really, really good for just a dollar, you have to admit. Oh, it's golden hour! But anyways, guys, that was all for today's video of me eating only Dollar Tree foods for the entire day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a snack. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also be sure you click subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video like this one from me. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.